Hi everybody, I'm Dr. John LaPook, medical correspondent for the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric. Welcome to another episode of CBSDoc.com. Today's segment is about sex. We all know that sex sells, but you know what also sells? Sexual dysfunction. It helps sell movies. How often do you sleep together? Do you have sex often? Hardly ever, maybe three times a week. Constantly, I'd say three times a week. And it keeps sex therapists in business. My friend and CBS colleague Richard Schlesinger and I took a field trip to a luxury lingerie and intimacy shop with sex therapist Miriam Baker. And we asked, why do couples get out of sync sexually? And what can they do about it? We're here at Kiki de Montparnasse Parnas on Green Street in New York City. And we're going to be talking about sex. I've dragged uh, Richard Schlesinger down here. Richard, you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable? A little, a little uncomfortable. I am approved, yes. I'm here to translate for John because sometimes doctors lapse into medical ease. People don't get around to having sex because of avoidance. It's just that simple. It's not very deep. There's passive avoidance and there's active avoidance. Passive avoidance would be they don't think it's important in their life, important in the world, it's a waste of time. Active avoidance is they have not really solved the reason why they can't be sexually functional. I would say the most common excuse or reason that people give for not getting around to having as much sex as they think they should have is, I'm just exhausted. People love to make excuses for not having sex because it hides the bad feelings that they have or the hurt that they feel that they're not having sex. Even if the economy's terrible, we've lost all of our money in the market, we are really mad at each other for all this stuff, wouldn't sex feel nice to be close and remember that it's a function of good health and well-being? Why aren't we getting to it? and there's always an answer. Well, how big a problem is it that, I mean, after a while, I mean, do people just get tired of their partners, or? People don't get tired of their partners. After, some people would say it's between two weeks to six months of a relationship, the sense of chase is over. What happens is that when people finally decide that they're in love, or whatever they call love, and they commit, they become family to each other. They're so you, you would see your, your husband and your wife as your brother or your sister? You would see it as it feels as if it's family and sex and family. Of course, there's an incest taboo. We should not go together. Is that where fantasy comes in? That's where fantasy is helpful, meaning that in our minds, at any given moment when we want to engage in sex, we do have a fantasy in our heads. And our fantasy could be just about when you first met somebody, what they looked like, or certainly smelled like, or acted like. But fantasies can be also extreme and, and helpful. Do you find that a, you know, a slinky black negligee really helps? A slinky black negligee goes like this. You, you visualize it, it goes in up to this pleasure center of the brain. Once the pleasure center of the brain is enacted, arousal begins. Once pleasure overrides anxiety, for everybody in the world, even the person that's too fatigued, mm -hmm. sex happens. So where does that leave us? If you're having less sex, but you're both okay with it, don't drive yourselves crazy. You're probably perfectly fine. But make sure you're communicating with each other and that there's not something else going on. Do talk to your doctor. It may be a medical problem with a medical solution. And finally, why did we go to Kiki de Montparnasse? The idea was to show you it's okay to break out of your usual routine, to experiment, to explore. My friend Richard, who started out describing himself as the last American prude, left feeling, if not comfortable, at least less uncomfortable, slightly. Of course, that may have been because he was leaving. But the point is, it doesn't have to be leather handcuffs. It could be anything. It could be a surprise picnic on your living room floor. At the end of the day, there's nothing more romantic and thoughtfulness. I'd love to hear your thoughts. You can email me at doc at cbs.com and be sure to check out cbsdoc.com on Facebook.